Hey, welcome back, Friendship Small Groups. I'm glad you guys are together again. We've got another video for you today, and today we're talking about Galatians chapter 2. We're wrapping up the chapter. We're going to be in verses 15 through 21. And the big idea for this section of Scripture is justification by faith. Now, I love it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nerd. I love theology. And so this is uh, awesome. I love talking about this topic. And, and I really hope you guys come on Wednesday because we're going to dive way deeper into this topic of justification by faith. This is what Paul talks about here at the end of chapter 2. And so his big ideas that he's talking about is this, that you cannot add anything to your salvation. That's the big idea. And he goes into this theology, this doctrine of justification. And so we're going we're gonna to kind of break this down. What is justification? What is that and how do I receive that? Because that's a church word, right? We don't hear that word really used anywhere else other than church, typically. Uh, justification. So what is justification? Uh, justification is simply this. If I want to break it down the easiest that I can, it's simply this. It is being made right in the eyes of God. That when God looks at you, when he sees you, you are good. You're square. Like you are made right in the eyes of God. Another way to think of it is to be held without sin. That there is no sin that would separate you from the love of God. Uh, there's no sin that would that would separate your standing with God. That would be uh, what justification is. It's that to be held without sin. Now, there's only one way that we can do that, uh, and that is through what Paul says, justification by faith alone. That our justification, our being made right in the eyes of God, comes only through our faith in Jesus Christ. It can't come from anything else. And so that's the second question that I want you to think about is, okay, what is justification? It's being made right in the eyes of God, but how do I receive that justification? It's only through your faith in Jesus. There is no other way. And Paul talks about this in this section of scripture, how we've tried other things, that faith by works does not work. If you try to just do it by straight obedience, we are not good enough. You and I, we are sinners and we screw up and we mess up. And there's no way that we could ever earn our salvation because we are not good enough. We uh, cannot keep the works, the law. We can't hold to that. And so it has to come from another way. And Jesus says, I will die for you. I will come down to the earth and I will live this perfect life completely without sin. And if you have faith in me, you can now be justified. You can be made right in the eyes of God. So our justification is because of Jesus. It's our faith in him, not our faith in our own works. It can't happen. Now, the big thing I want you to remember, if you try to add anything to your salvation, it is no longer faith. Uh, it is no longer justification by faith. You have now added something to it. If it's, I, I believe in Jesus and you also have to do this, or you have to do that, or you have to say these things, or you have to do those things. That is no longer salvation by faith. That is salvation plus works. Uh, and so Jesus doesn't teach that, and Paul doesn't teach that, and Paul tells us here that it's by faith alone. You can't add anything. Now, all those other things that we should do, those are great things to do, but they don't, they don't justify us in the eyes of God. Those are good things to do but they don't give us our salvation. They're not justification. Justification is by faith alone. And so that's what we're going to talk about on Wednesday. So I really hope to see you there. Uh, but here's a couple questions for your small group time. Question number one is this. What do you or other people, maybe if you don't want to go personal level, what do you or what do other people often add to their salvation? They try to add these other things that you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to say that. What are those things? Uh, talk about that. What have you guys seen or heard? And then the second question is, what is the hardest part for you to live with faith, to live by faith? What is the hardest part of following Jesus for you? That's what I want you guys to talk about amongst your groups. And uh, I hope you guys have a good time, have a great group time, and I will hopefully see you guys on Wednesday. Have a good week. See ya.